Now let's get right to some interesting stock picks and today's feature segment. Melissa Armo is here, founder, owner, of the stock swoosh. It's great to see you, Melissa. Thanks for being with us. I wanted to get how you're feeling about the market. We haven't spoken in a while and we've been hitting some new highs and some of the names you love have been in focus. What are you thinking these days? How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling pretty good. I hope you are too in New York, Nicole. <laughs> Hold up here in our, our residences for now, but the market is acting like COVID never really happened, which is interesting. We'll see if it lasts though. I think this is gonna be a choppy summer for markets. You had the QQQs make brand new all-time highs in the last week. I can't believe how much the market rallied last week on a short week into the holiday weekend, but it did. And then we were up Monday and then we failed to follow through higher. But I really think that Amazon blowing through the highs, going well over 3000, did help the QQQs rally last week. And then you also had some really strong stocks like Tesla, but the SPY is hanging on barely to the gains and the, the Dow is down because of Boeing. So you have earnings start next week. You have the banks report to start off and kick off earnings season next week. And I think whether or not the SPY can get over this one level of resistance, it's around 323, is really going to depend on how the bank stocks report, because you're not going to have a strong S&P without the financials. Hmm. So, you know, you use words like choppy summer and the volatility you expect on an election year for this back half of the year um, and watching the bank stocks and the earnings next week. So are you saying that even if there were a pullback today, you wouldn't necessarily jump in? Do you want to wait for the banks to report next week and then sort of reposition and see whether you'll jump into some of the names you like? I think you have to wait for specific earnings on all of the stocks that you're watching right now. And I think as far as the overall market goes, if you're in it, if you stayed with the market, if you carried it through all of through COVID or bought after that drop off in March, I'd say stay with your long positions. The market isn't an uptrend. All the market indices are in an uptrend. And I'm not saying we're going to turn into a downtrend, but I'm saying we're not out of the woods yet for two reasons. One is COVID-19. Um, and then two is also the China-U.S. tensions are going to come to a head. They may wait till after the election. It could be the end of 2020 or it could be early 2021. But I think that there's going to be some tension that arises where we're going to see some of the volatility that we saw back in 2018, which was about tariffs. Some of those things that no one's really been talking about because everyone has been talking about COVID. So I would focus yeah, on specific you know, and they have. They have. And I know you were looking at some of the cruise lines and airlines and Boeing. Um, what are you thinking when it comes to these groups and specific names? Well, I would say look at both longs and shorts. Personally, I love to short. I think Boeing right now is my top short. It's been my top short for 2020, even though it had a rally, couldn't hang on to it. And so I think, and Boeing's lower today. I think, in fact, I think today was down at 175, 176. I think it's trading out around now. Boeing has lost a huge percentage of the gains that had that one two week period. And I definitely think all the cruise lines, the airlines, you can watch them. They're running at about 10% some of these airlines capacity. So normally they'd have 100 flights going out a day. Maybe they have 10 going out a day now. So they're still running, but nowhere near what it's been. If anything, they may look for a pickup into the end of the year towards the holiday season. But the way things are going right now with this new wave of COVID, who's to say what's going to happen? I mean, no one even knows when life is going to start to get back to normal. Right, right. No doubt. So you're shorting Boeing. Um, some concerns that we may be stuck in this range and whether or not we can break out. Do you have any names that you would buy on a pullback day? You know, when we drop the thousand points day, is there a name that you would pick up? I would wait for earnings still on longs as well. I think Apple was the only thing that really in the last week did hit 400 and it's probably going to go there. It could even go to 500 if it has great earnings. And if you didn't buy Amazon and you missed that, you didn't buy Tesla, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy on pullbacks here because they had such big rallies so quick, so fast in the last few days that they could pull back, break then another support level and fall two or three times. And they all have earnings coming up in the next, in the next quarter. So I would say second quarter was interesting because remember second quarter was when COVID hit and then we had earnings season like right after that. And I would say it was almost like the earnings season that never was. There were stocks that reported that didn't move that much. And then there were things that had a lot of momentum to play like the specific sectors, like the airlines, like the tech. 
and they had great plays, but they weren't on earnings. So it was a really strange time if you were an active trader for second quarter earnings season 2020. And again, it was because of COVID. And nobody really knew what the outcome was going to be. Now you're going to start to see the results. And some of those results could be positive yeah. through what's happened through the last few months. And they could be great buys, but I wouldn't jump until after earnings. Or some of them could be worse then you think, and I know that people are picking up Boeing, and I know that people are picking up the cruise lines and some of the other airlines as well. But I'd say wait, because nobody really knows what the outcome of these earnings are going to be. And again, I'm focused on the banks. I think the banks really are going to drive this market, are going to kill it. Because I'm telling you, even though interest rates are low, banks are going to see fallout from COVID. You are going to have people that are defaulting on their mortgages, defaulting on their credit cards. That We have so many people that are unemployed. And even though we had a better number than expected last week, and, and, and that was great, I'm telling you, there's still millions and millions right. of people that are unemployed. And eventually, it's going to start to catch up as this goes into the fall and towards the end of the year, where people are starting to default, God forbid, on credit cards and their housing payment. Yeah. Melissa, thank you so much. Melissa Armo, founder, owner, the Stock Swoosh. Thank you, Melissa.